what's up guys in this video let's go ahead and talk about what blockchain is and what are the things that are important that you need to know about blockchain i'm not a professional advisor but let's get it on all right, so this is the website that I feel has the best definition on what blockchain is and what are the things that you need to know about blockchain. It is Investopedia and the link to this will be in the description of the video. So first things first, guys. Okay, what is blockchain? So blockchain is a distributed database or ledger that is shared among the nodes of a computer network. So as a database, a blockchain stores information electronically in digital format. So let let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit on that one that way you could uh, go ahead and check that one out and again guys link to this will be in the description of the video so blockchains are the best known for their crucial role in cryptocurrency system such as bitcoin and i'm sure if you are into cryptocurrency there is no need to explain what bitcoin is so for maintaining a secure and decentralized record of transactions the innovation with a blockchain is that it guarantees the fidelity and security of a record of data and generates trust without the need for a trusted third party so basically it is a network that is very secured one key difference between a typical database and a blockchain is how the data is structured a blockchain collects information together in groups known as blocks that hold set of information and then the blocks have certain storage capacities and when filled are closed and linked to the previously filled block forming a chain of data known as the blockchain now all information or all the new information that follows that freshly added block is compiled into a newly formed block that will then also be added to the chain once filled now that is what blockchain is and you could read through the entire thing but that basically the summary on what blockchain is so the key takeaways there you go blockchain is a type of shared database that differs from a typical database in the way that it stores information. Blockchain stores data in blocks that are linked together via cryptography. So how does a blockchain work? The goal of blockchain is to allow digital information to be recorded and distributed but not edited. Okay, so in this way, a blockchain is the foundation for immutable ledgers or records of transactions that cannot be altered, deleted, or destroyed. This is why blockchains are also known as a distributed ledger ledger technology or dlt you might have encountered that in the future if you see a dlt you think blockchain okay so first proposed as a research project in 1991 the blockchain concept predated its first widespread application in use bitcoin in 2009 in the years since the use of blockchain has exploded via the creation of various cryptocurrencies decentralized finance or DeFi, in other words applications non-fungible tokens or nfts and smart contracts so if you don't know those terms guys we created videos in our channel that would talk more in depth about what cryptocurrencies what DeFi is what non-fungible tokens or nfts are and what smart contracts are so go ahead and check that one out so transaction process you have this process flow okay so a new transaction is entered and then goes to the transaction that is transmitted to the network of peer-to-peer -peer computers scattered across the world and then goes to the network of computers then solves equations to form the validity of the transaction once confirmed to be legitimate transactions they are clustered together into blocks and these blocks are then chained together creating a long history of all transactions that are permanent and then after that the transaction is complete so the attributes of cryptocurrency you can go ahead and check that one out as well blockchain decentralization okay so real quick on this one so to validate new entries or records to a block a majority of this decentralized networks computing power would need to agree to it so to prevent bad actors from validating bad transactions or double spend blockchains are secured by
by a consensus mechanism such as proof of work or the POW or proof of stake, which is the POS. Okay, so these mechanisms allow for agreement even when no single node is in charge. And is blockchain secure? That's one question for you guys, I'm sure. Blockchain technology has seems to centralize security and trust in several ways. To begin with, new blocks are always stored linearly and chronologically. That is, they are always added to the end of the blockchain. So, due to the size of many cryptocurrency networks and how fast they are growing, the cost to pull off such a feat probably would be insurmountable. This would not be only extremely expensive, but also likely fruitless. Thus, such thing would not go unnoticed as network members would see such drastic alterations to the blockchain. The network members would then hard fork off to a new version of the blockchain that has not been affected. That would cause attack version of the token to plummet in a value and making the attack ultimately pointless. As the bad actor has no control of a worthless asset, the same would occur if the bad actor were to attack the new fork of Bitcoin. So it is built this way so that taking part in the network is far more economically incentivized than attacking it so ultimately yes blockchain is secure now next one and this is basically i also would like you to know guys bitcoin versus blockchain is it different is it the same or is bitcoin a blockchain or something like that oh blockchain technology was first outlined in 1991 by stuart haber and w scott sternetta two researchers who wanted to implement a system where document timestamps could not be tampered with but it wasn't until two decades Decades later, with the launch of Bitcoin, okay, in January of 2009, that blockchain had its first real world application. Bitcoin protocol is built on a blockchain in a research paper introducing the digital currency. Bitcoin's pseudonymous creator, Satoshi Nakamoto, referred to it as a new electric cash system that's fully peer to peer with no trusted third party. That is the dawn of Bitcoin. Okay, next, blockchain versus banks, right? Blockchains have been heralded as being a disruptive force to the finance sector and especially with the function of payments and banking. However, banks and decentralized blockchains are vastly different. Okay, so to see how a bank differs from blockchain, let's compare the banking system to Bitcoin's implementation of blockchain. Okay, so blockchains versus banks. So you have information in there as well, and you can go ahead and read through everything that you need to know about blockchain. This website says it all. Okay, so it has a very, very good explanation on what blockchain is, and I would highly recommend that you read through the entire thing and digest it that way when you know you uh, encounter other information like what are other cryptocurrencies and then if it's blockchain you already know what it is all right so if you're new to the channel guys please make sure to click that like that subscribe and click the bell that way you'll always be notified when we upload new videos in the future i will see you on the next i'm out peace